this is going to be a quick one. So what we wanted to do is <coughs> get a variable that stores essentially the username. So if we actually go sensing ask what is your name or username and then what we want to do here is store it somehow and trying to store it in a variable doesn't really work but storing in a list does and so I just call this username um, so here we go we've got a username here and I'm going to say ask it's that and I'm going to add thing to the first entry of username which is going to be our answer for my question um, and then I can essentially say uh, let's create another let's create a variable um, let's call it score and the game will set score to zero and then we're going to set score to a random score between one and ten and then we'll wait one second and then essentially this is where you could like say broadcast um, you know game finished or game over whatever um, and then you know when I receive message uh, which is this game finished then we would say some stuff so let's just chuck that there so because I know it's going to get a bit wide so this is where our, our words go to town uh, I'm going to need at least that much so say Uh, so we're chucking the username straight away why not so in here I'm going to say item 1 of the username because if I'm chucking this in and it kind of doesn't know if it goes to the first one or the last one or if it replaces ones or what have you you want to know at least that that's why when I pushed it in first every time I know the one I'm grabbing is a, the first one on the list straight away um, username so I, I start with a space your score is space score get in there right okay so then if I run this game we can see what is your username, what is your name DG and then DG your score is nine so that's it there simple as that and that's got a, a, a two second one I should probably chuck it in just a general say one but there you go you got the idea of it um, but when we, you know, when you score a game, essentially, yeah, you want to keep this. I mean, we can turn off the visibility so it's not there, and you know, you'd have your running score, and this would be this would be amazing. Um, and we can run it again and test it. And, um, what's your score here, um, Bob? And then it will spit out Bob. It's nowhere near as good as DGD. Uh, if we show it up here, we can see Bob's gone to the top. DGD's there. Um, so yeah, it's just to show you that it's storing this. And in terms of is this list going to get really long? Am I worried about clearing it? Well, unless it was an online registered game, an online game where it stores the stuff, and then the way that these work is slightly different. Um, <clears throat> not an issue because essentially it just stores it for the duration of this game and how many times I play the game. Because if I was to close it and then reopen it, it would refresh it anyway. And I mean, if you're really worried, you can say delete last one here after it's pushed it in and then that will just clear out the last one that was in there so if I try it again there what's your name um <coughs> DGD2 it's cleared it it's there oh, see these DGDs uh, just doing so well with this score alright so there you go there is how to do that